Hello everybody, Driven by Moss 19.1 is out and if you have never heard about Driven by Moss, it's a totally free extension for Bitwig Studio as well as Cocos Reaper and in this new version 19.1 there are some cool new features for the Launchpad series and it's quite a bunch I support by now so it's the old Mark II version, the first Pro release, the Pro Mark III, by the way there was never a Mark II which is interesting and as well the Launchpad X and the Mini as you see here. The Mini so far didn't have the support for the user mode which was only available on the bigger version the Pro and the Pro Mark III and we have it now on all models. How do you access that? Before that we had up here the devices so it can change the device parameters. For example here let's have a look at the at the Polysynth. Can you also see the Polysynth? Here it is. You can change here the parameters of the policy. If you press it again before it would open the browser but now we switch to the user mode. And what is a user mode? User mode means you can program up to 64 parameters anywhere in Bitwig. So for example we could pick one policy parameter and map that one and then press here the button and we have now mapped here the filter cutoff of this polysynth in Bitwig. And then you could also say you want to control or map here the volume of this third track and I can also change it here directly and still control the other volume. So it's nice to create a specific setup and these settings will also be stored then in your project. And if you want to have a specific setup for all of your projects, you can simply create a template or store it even in your default template. So another thing is I did is I made here the color coding a little bit clearer. So if you go on the little one, it's a the drums button, which allows you to pick all the different modes for playing, sequencing and so on. And the color coding is now clear. You have here the orange one for all the different play modes. So from here, the piano one or the normal play one or also here the, the big 64 drum grid one. And the blue ones are for the different drum modes we have. There are the note sequences, the different ones. And there is now a new one as well, which is that pink one at the bottom. And this allows you now to change the loop setting of a clip. This was so far only available on the Push 1 and 2 and now it's also available on Launchpad. And this is also the default view you get if you select an audio clip and let's see how it what it does. So if you have here a MIDI clip playing and you will see it's here only one bar. You can change also here the resolution and say you want not to see here measures, you want to see quarter notes or even go up one resolution higher and then you can change the length, but it's better to see if you select the clip, then you will see it's now only that one. You can also go to one or also go back to the old loop length. It also doesn't have to start at the one, so you can select any range you like for setting this loop. What I forgot to tell you, to still access the browser, I changed the scenes a little bit, so move them up. So the first one allows still to switch the device on and off. Second one opens the window. If the device has a window, that one shows and hides the parameters and that one hides the user interface of the device. And that one pins the track as well as the device, so it sticks here on this page, even if you switch to another track. So for example, if I select now the audio track, it will still show this page here. Pretty handy if you use multiple controllers as one. And the last one now finally opens the browser. Browser is as before, no change here. And don't forget if you, for example, want to insert something before a device or after the device, you can navigate here still with the cursor keys. Say you want to insert, for example, a media effect or you can go after the device as well. So that's it for the mini. Let's switch over to the big one and see how it works there. So on a Pro Mark III, since we have a little bit more buttons, the navigation is a little bit different. We don't have this one selection page. Instead, you can navigate through the three different main modes, as I may call it, with the three buttons. So the Note one switches between the different play modes and the chord one switches through the different 
drum modes and the sequencer switches through the different note sequencing modes. What I did is the custom one did previously open the user mode and I think it's more consistent to have this on device as well as we have it on a mini one. So if you press device first, you get still to the device parameters. And if you press it again, you can also enter the user mode same way as before. You can map any parameter here in Bitwig to any of these 64 options. So the other pages of eight can access here with a scene buttons if you didn't know about that. Browser is the same. So if you go back here to parameters, you can also open here the browser now with that button. I think that makes it a bit more consistent as well here with the device. So all device parameters or parameters in general can now be changed with that button. And this freed then up the costume button, which allows now also to get to this loop length. And here it works the same that you can set the loop as well and this works also on the audio clips which you can also test out maybe increase the resolution Yeah, this clip sounds pretty the same at every position though but I guess you get the idea that this is working nicely now we hear the difference <laughs> Okay, so much for the changes of the launch pad. So you get now the user mode on all models as well as these length settings also available on all models, which means you get now with all the supported models, the same functionality, the same feature set, but here on the Mark III, which has much more nicer buttons. The navigation is easier. You have the track selection. So this makes it much faster to select, but nevertheless, also on a small model. So you can do a lot of things and it's a really, really powerful device. And I hope you enjoy it, love it, dig it, and make some funky music. <laughs>